What they be on that cabin and that shit? Nah, no, I, I just don't like the crowds. Like I don't like being around hella people. Facts, though. Facts. Yeah, like that shit be annoying. Like like I be going to the club like that. I ain't even gonna lie, this shit right here, I've been bumping this. Y'all got some, um, some Wi-Fi? Hell yeah, you got some water or something? Yeah, that's our track or something. Yeah, that's our track or something. Yeah, ready? Y'all want to get in? at the moment for real, for real. Alrighty, man, you already know what time it is, man. This Black Rats Podcast reporting to you live with another one. Yeah, you already know what time it is. And today, man, we talking to a young goat, man. Young nigga in the city doing this thing, stomping hard on you whole ass niggas' heads. Today, who may I be speaking to? Man, you got your boy RTD Poppy, you feel me? Already, already, already. I see you out here, you know what I'm saying? Most definitely got your pe- you know what I'm saying? You got your men's out here and everything like that, man. So, what do you do? Yeah, shit, I'm an artist, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm versatile, you feel me? I be doing, I be doing my shit with this shit. I ain't gonna lie to you, for real. Like, I can do it all. Already, already, man. So, where you come from, bro? Like, uh, what city you in? Baltimore. Already. Um, you feel me? I'm from Baltimore. I'm from over East Baltimore, but I grew up out Cherry Hill. You feel okay. Me? Um, I've been out there my whole life, but you know I'm from over East. That's that's my home. That's that's what I call home. You feel me? Most definitely, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. Y'all got amazing uh legends out Cherry Hill, like Fish, Joe Edison. You feel me? A lot of other guys, man. But like coming from that area, like how did Cherry Hill inspire you to do what you're doing? Uh, I mean. If you from that part, you know, like, your environment is your environment, you feel me? Right. You come outside, everything you see right there in your face, you feel me? It's either you going to fall a victim to that shit or you going to try to make positive and, you feel me, try to make a change. I tried to make a change. I wanted to do something positive with my voice. I always had a strong voice, you feel me? So I just been trying to use it. Alrighty, what inspires you to start doing music, though? Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a, that's a whole quick thing, like... 
when you first started music, was it like everybody was acceptable to it? Like, bro, like, go hand with that. It was like oh, niggas doubting you that you was going to really, start dragging for I was real. I singing and shit, so motherfuckers okay. wasn't really fucking with it at first, you feel me? I had a couple people here and there saying like, yeah, boy, keep that shit going, keep it going, you feel me? Those are the people that helped me get to where I'm at today. Facts so. The motherfuckers that was doubting me, those motherfuckers that built me up and made me strong, they knew that, I knew that this shit was going to get me somewhere, you feel me? Facts though, what was one of the best levels of game that you learned, you know what I'm saying, once you once you start uh, pushing out your music? Shit, right now I'm still learning, bro, but uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know other artists out there, Distro Kid, United Masters, you feel me, TuneCore, make them your best friends, you feel me, BMI, get your, get, get everything in straight, get all your business in order before you really put this shit out there. Okay. You feel me, like, I just been taking heed to the little bit of shit that I definitely, you feel me, found out along the way, and it definitely helped me. Most definitely, man. Who put you on point with that? Like, who was giving you game? Like, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Before you start uh, getting in the rap game, like, who told you to get your business together? Because a lot of people get in the game and just be thinking that they should be making money just because they rapping. Right. You feel me? Like. Who put you down with that though? What was it? Did you have any relatives or anybody that was involved in music? Um, I ain't had no relatives per se, but I got a lot of wise people around me. You know that done tried to run their own business and things of that nature, and just told me the to route to go. And I got a hell of a manager. I ain't gonna lie to you, she is Doug. She the one that got me this interview. So facts yeah, though. Like, she definitely yeah, like she knowledgeable in this shit, and she just been learning with me. We been learning together. Most definitely, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I've been hearing your music and everything like that. But like, as far as like, you know what I'm saying, uh, Lost Souls too. Like, you know what I'm saying, you killing in that. You feel me? Like, um, you know, you got uh, what's that? Six tracks on the album for real, for real. Yeah. Like, um, I was wondering, uh, you know, uh, why wasn't you on? You know, uh, you know, uh, play time over. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Like I feel like you know what I'm saying that would have been a, a good a good joy for you to be on. Like like where was you at before? You know what I'm saying before the first album though, before I mean, you first dropped, what you was shit. on? Playtime over, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was on some whole other shit. Like back then, like that was before my daughters. So I was I was I was really outside. You feel me? And I wasn't really focused on the music like that. Like I was worried about getting some money. You feel me? Facts though, most definitely, man. So like, uh, one of the number questions I wanted to ask you though, like, as far as like the music or whatever, like, what's some of the artists that, is there any artists out here that influence your sound or 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 what? Um, or you don't listen to these niggas? I wouldn't say like it's artists out here that necessarily like influence my sound, but uh, I listen to a couple of niggas. I ain't gonna be biased and say okay. I listen to motherfuckers. I listen to niggas. You feel me? But. I just, I don't know. I be critiquing niggas shit more than anything, you feel me? Because I'm an artist myself. I just be listening to shit and I be hearing certain shit and I be like, oh yeah, that shit's gonna been in that, you feel me? This shit, I ain't going name drop or nothing like that. Who I be doing that shit too, because you feel me? I want everybody to keep on doing their thing and keep on pushing this shit, because we all hard as a bitch. Facts you know, though. We just need to kind of gather more. One thing I noticed about you as well is, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you really know how to. Hit them vocals and shit for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas, you know, you be like, you listening to them, but when you hear them in real life, it's like, nigga, I know you don't sound like that, nigga. You a whole robot in the booth for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, what what makes you keep things authentic? Um, shit, I'm always working, bro. When I leave from here, I'm going to fuck around, cut on some beats and just keep on working, keep this shit fresh. You feel me? Like, I'm just, I'm always perfecting my craft. Already, man. What's uh your top uh five artists of all time? All time. Mm. All time. Mm. Shit. Damn. I'm a doom in order. No, I ain't. There ain't no order. Ain't no order. I'ma just say. Uh, first, gotta say Big. You feel me? Tupac for sure. Okay. Uh. See, I fuck with um. Like, who's the niggas you listening Slick to now, Rick. though? I fuck with Slick Rick. 
You feel me? You know, slick red. That's a Hell old yeah. nigga. That's an old yeah. nigga. You feel That's me? That's a storytelling ass nigga. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't talking about no these new niggas. I'm talking about the you feel me the ones that's really dropping jewels. You feel me the niggas that really be talking that shit. But we got some people today that be talking these shit. Hold on, that's three for real. Um, who else? I fuck with. I fuck with uh Cube. Cube was hard. Okay. Cube hard as a bitch. And I fuck with um. Mm, I'ma say, I'ma just say Dr. Dre too. Even though he's not really a rapper, rapper, but he definitely wrote a lot of songs. If you really pay attention to nigga shit, and you know the story. Like yeah, he write a lot, a lot of great hits. So I still add him in. The, you feel me? The category of a, a artist too. Facts though, man. Saying like, man, you are a historian of the, you know what I'm saying, of the arts for real, for real. But I most definitely want to shout out, you know, to see you got your guys out here with you, man. That shot them out for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? I got my niggas stepping with me, and I got. Alrighty, stepping on niggas. My nigga Alrighty, alrighty, man. Most definitely. Um, that's one thing I, I most definitely appreciated about y'all coming through for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Showing love and supporting each other. Because a lot of the motherfuckers, you feel me, their homeboys only be out with them when they at the club. You know what I'm saying? Doing what they doing, you feel me? So to really be holding shit down, that's most definitely legit. But at the same time, what's some of the artists in the city? Like, is there anybody in the city that you would like to do music with? Hell yeah, it's a couple of niggas I want to do music with for real. But niggas be on some bougie shit. Like, I don't even want to recline shit. I, I ain't really getting into all that, but that's Thanks, just though. like how I be feeling. You feel me? But it's definitely a couple niggas I want to work with. You feel me? With that, if that time coming, shit. Yeah, man. That's one thing I most definitely, you know what I'm saying, uh, would advise you of to watch out for the weirdos. A lot of times in this game, you're going to have a lot of niggas that be like, man, I love you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't know you worth a can of paint. You feel me? Yeah. Gonna say they with you, you feel me? But if they can't get nothing from you, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? When times get hard, they're gonna turn their backs. So most definitely don't, um, you know, turn your back on the motherfuckers that's with you right now. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be trying to, you know what I'm saying, separate the God out this bitch for real, for real. Most definitely, man. Um, other than that, though, if you could tell yourself, um, if you can give your 13 year old self some words of advice, what would that be? 13 year old me. And focus more on school. Don't worry about them girls. They're going to be out here forever. They're going to be out here. Focus on everything that you want to do. That's what I would tell myself. If I could go back, I just would tell myself that. Because I, I, I got so, like, I ain't going to say I got, like, time. Like, I ain't going to say I lost time, you feel me, trying to fuck around with the, the girls yeah. and shit. But I definitely wasted, you feel me, more time than I should have been on that shit. Like opposed to like chasing other shit. Like right. I probably could have been already where I wanted to be if I would have if I would have just been focused all the way out. You feel me? Hell yeah, facts though. But what what made you dare to be great though? Cause it sounded like you you know what I'm saying you came from a long journey. What made you say fuck that shit? I'm gonna believe in myself, give myself a chance, and move forward. What was that moment? Shit, living hard, bro. Sleeping in my car. Sleeping in my car. Literally, cold. Cold, cold as a bitch sleeping in my car. You feel me? Mad, mad at the world. You feel me? I had to realize it wasn't the world fault. It was my fault. I had to just get up. You feel me? And make a change. Right. Start too. doing different and take initiative and change my life. You uh. feel me? Like, yeah, I got a real story to tell. It's a lot motherfuckers don't know I've been through. You feel me? But it, it's just everybody think it's all you feel me good because that's all the niggas that's all the niggas show but nah it's a lot of shit going on behind the scenes we just ain't showing everything you feel me we only posting our wins they gonna know that we going through shit from the shit that we saying but nah we only posting our wins i don't got know about the hard shit you feel me just know a nigga went through it and got through it and now i'm here yeah man i ain't gonna lie man that's most definitely real man so what do you got in store man shit. for the near future Got a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff in short this year, like a lot for 2022, you feel me? I got um, a couple projects I'm working on. I got Marching Band, that's an unreleased song that I'm working on, you feel me? I got a project, I got a project that I'm definitely ready to drop in the, uh, like June, June, in there, like June, July. Yeah, she good. Oh, yeah, we rocking out, man. You already know, man. This Black Rats podcast, man. We outside, man. Most definitely. Yeah. But you can keep on. All right. Um. 
Okay. Okay, most definitely, man. Shit like that, you feel me? Yeah. Facts though. Most definitely, you from Cherry Hill too, though, bro. Already, man. You know we gotta step in the building. Most definitely support them. What's your IG? How can they follow you? Support you? You know what I'm saying? All that shit. Um, uh, IG under, MBG underscore step. Uh, Most definitely, man. So what type of music is you pushing out there for real? My life, uh, um, like, ain't nothing much to say, bro. I'm just putting my life. Yeah, little shot. Right? We still, we still getting Facts, I respect that though. Shit. Most definitely though. We got him, man. We, we definitely push him and we're gonna push him hard so he can get there. Yeah, most definitely, man. So how long you been doing music for though? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I started I started rapping with my grandfather when I was dead in the kitchen for real. Okay. So ever since then I just been rapping here and there off and off for real. But, okay. Uh, ever since I've been around my cousin, I just been really writing and all that shit for real. Like, Everything coming up. Okay. Sure. Most definitely, most definitely, man. And would you do music as well, or, or what? Uh, I'm just here to support my man, you know. Already, already, man. Most definitely, you already know we got Baltimore in the building, you know what I'm saying? Young bosses doing their yeah, shit, you know what I'm saying? Holding shit down early. Most definitely, man. Like, as far as, like, if, you know, if you feel like, you know what I'm saying, as far as, like, being in Baltimore, being an artist, or whatever, you know, um, you know, where do you see yourself as far as like in a city with artists? You know what I'm saying? Where do you see yourself? Hello? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't want to have